Let's talk about the offensive line. My goodness. Um, what happened to the 49ers offensive line? Trent Williams is making Joe Staley look like he needed to keep playing. Like, like one of the biggest losses this year was Joe Staley retiring. Who the hell is that? Number 71. That's the best left tackle of all time. I mean, the guy does not look locked in. It's not just a physical thing with Trent Williams. Yeah, he gave up a sack for like the third time this season. He gave up, I think, his third sack in four games. What the hell is that? But that's not even the biggest issue. He had a holding penalty in the first half, and he had a false start on the first play of the final drive of the game when the Niners were backed up on their 12 with no timeouts. Where's your head? You're the best player on the team, theoretically. You're 32 years old. You played a lot of football. Sure, you didn't play last, last year. You know what a false start is. What is that? That is terrible. I mean, I think the thing that's most concerning about Trent Williams isn't the physical stuff, isn't the fact that he's given up three sacks in, in four games, which is concerning. It's the mental stuff. Like, how are you not locked in? Justin School was locked in last year. They need you, Trent. Also, you need to play better if you think you're going to get $20 million a season after that. You're starting to look like a guy who's just rusty, who's over the hill. I don't think you are because the whole offensive line is playing poorly. Maybe it's just they'll pick it up as the season goes on. And I don't want to just single out Trent Williams because as poorly as he played in this game, he still was the, best, the Niners' best offensive lineman. I mean, Lakin Tomlinson, having a bad year. Ben Garland, my goodness. Daniel Brunskill, even worse. And then we get Mike McGlinchey. Mike freaking McGlinchey. Um, it's kind of gone under the radar because every time he gives up a quarterback hit, it leads to an interception and all fans are like, oh my God, who threw that pass? And that's true. You can't be throwing picks. But let's not let Mike McGlinchey off the hook. This guy can't block anyone. His, his pass set is upright and soft. He packs no punch. He's been getting tossed around. Like, he looks like the dude in the wave pool with the shirt on. You know what I'm saying? At, uh, at Waterworld, the guy who goes to the wave pool and doesn't want to take off his white shirt, so he's got the, the cotton shirt, and he's just flailing around. It's like, yeah, dude, nice. That's you. You can't stand up. I don't get it. He was not this bad as a rookie. He was not this bad in 2019. He looks way worse than he was the last two years. He looks so bad. If the rest of the offensive line wasn't looking so bad, I'd, I'd think you've got to bench this guy. So I'm not going to write him off yet. The, the whole O-line looks terrible. Maybe it's just O-line is choreography. Well, at least the run blocking is. And they didn't have preseason. So the choreography is not going to be there. But I think what's really, really concerning is the pass protection. He looks unathletic. He looks stiff and soft. I'm sorry, Mike. And now the Niners, they look at this tape and thinking, geez, are we going to give this guy a second contract? Is he hard long-term right tackle? Right now, he looks like a liability. Ninth pick in the draft. You see what I'm saying? The Niners do not have a Nick Mullins problem. The issue is not just, oh, well, we didn't have Jimmy. You think Jimmy would have played confidently behind that, that offensive line tonight for four quarters? You think C.J. Beathard would have held up for four quarters behind that O-line, slinging balls with 100% with, with confidence? No, absolutely not. Jimmy's more athletic than Nick, and Jimmy's a good quarterback. And Jimmy would have played better than that tonight. But Jimmy has been protecting his knee since he tore it. And with how poorly the offensive line has been playing and how good that D-line was today, I'm not sure he would have been that much better. I don't think he would have turned the ball over three times. I think he might have turned it over zero times. But I think he would have struggled. This was, there's no run game. There's no protection. And the wide receivers were, were non-existent. So how was that offensive line, how was that offense going to perform today? A lot of it's on Kyle. Um, I mean, a lot of it's on Mullins for turning the ball over three times. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. And I don't think Jimmy would have done that. But that offense wasn't going to perform well today. The quarterback, no matter who it was, wasn't going to look confident for four quarters. They have some, some serious issues on offense. 
that are bigger than the quarterback. They go to Kyle. They go to the offensive line. When Weston Richburg comes back, when Raheem Mostert comes back, when this offensive line has time to gel, things should be okay. They should have a good run game again. They should be able to build, um, but they're running out of time. Next week is the, is the Dolphins. That's a, that's a tough team. They played a tough game against the, the Seahawks today. That's not a gimme win. And then after that, the season just gets absolutely brutal. So if the Niners are going to make something of this season, they got to be honest with themselves this week and not say, well, it's Mullen's fault. Yeah, it's Mullen's fault. Bring back Jimmy will be fine. No, everyone needs to improve somehow, including Kyle. Get that run game going. Offensive line, Trent Williams. No more, no more penalties. Mike McGlinchey. He should have as much urgency as Nick Mullins. McGlinchey's been the worst player on the team through four games. Show something or sit on the bench. Jarek McKinnon can feel good about how he played. George Kittle can feel good about how he played. That's it. That's it on offense. On defense, no one really. I mean, Fred Warner played well. Quan Alexander made some tackles. But really, they couldn't keep Carson Wentz contained? That's a joke. That's a joke. And it's a recurring theme, and it's beneath the Niners. They need to figure that out.